Okay, so we're moving on to the eye and we're going to incorporate all of our colors here. So I've already done one so you can see what it looks like. And actually I had some of these cute little buttons left over from another project. So I just kind of added that into the center and I feel like it just added the perfect touch. So we're using our black background to stand for the eye sockets. And then we're gonna use this pretty little pink color for the inside of the eye. Then I use the yellow to dress it up around the outside. So you'll notice that in a lot of uh, Day of the Dead artwork is that the eyes especially are very embellished. So that's what we're doing here in this project. This is simply done by creating a five petaled flower and I use the triple crochet uh, stitch and then it's placed on top of a flat circle and I just did um, two rounds using double crochets. You can see I've sewn in all my ends on the back and I'm not too worried about it because that's what we're gonna place on the front there so you won't even see that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get started on the flower part, flowerette, I guess we can call it. That'll go on the inside of your eye. And you don't need to use a button, it just so happens that I had one here and I thought it um, worked really well with that motif. You can leave a blank or you can put a different button of your choice. So taking some of my hot pink yarn here, we're gonna start off with a cinch circle, okay? And then what we wanna do is we're gonna pull through and we're gonna chain one to secure the cinch circle. Just gonna take out that tail there. And now we're gonna chain an additional three. two and three. So our petals here basically consist of a chain of four, a triple crochet, and a chain of four for each petal going into our circle. And I'm going to show you that right now. So that's why we did an additional three chains on top of the one we already had. So technically we have the height of a triple crochet stitch. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over two times. We're gonna insert our hook into the circle and pull a loop through. This will give us, and I know it's gonna feel a bit weird here in the beginning, this is gonna give us four loops on our hook. Then we want to yarn over and pull through the first two loops only. That will leave us with three loops. We're going to yarn over again and we'll pull through the next two loops again. Oops, careful not to split your yarn. And then lastly, we'll yarn over one more time and pull through the final two loops. I will also um, place in the description box down below one of our tutorials where we had gone through the um, triple crochet stitch a little bit slower and a little bit more detail. So if you need a little extra help on the triple crochet, definitely feel free to consult that video. Okay, so we've done a chain four, a triple crochet. Now we're gonna do a chain of three. And the reason why I'm doing three and not four is I do want the petal just to kind of bend down a wee bit. And what I'm gonna do is the bottom of the stitch here is I'm just, continuously squeezing them nice and snugly together. Next, what we want to do is insert back into the circle and then slip stitch so that we anchor that chain three back into the circle. Okay, so you have something that looks like that, still a bit wonky. I'm gonna push them together. And technically, this is our first petal of our little flower there, okay? Then we will chain four again. And this will be a little bit challenging only because it doesn't have a lot of um, substance yet. So it, it will be a little challenging for you to kind of keep it steady, but just hang in there and take your time, okay? We're gonna do another triple crochet. That means we're gonna yarn over two times. 
insert into the circle, yarn over and pull through. Then we'll yarn over and pull through the first two loops. We'll yarn over and pull through the next two loops. This yarn likes to split a lot. And then we'll yarn over and pull through the next two loops. So we're pulling through two loops three times. Hopefully that doesn't confuse you. And then again, we chain three. So this is what consists of creating our petals. Once we've chained three, we'll then go back into the circle and we will slip stitch to anchor the end of that petal down. Okay, so there's the second petal and as you can see, it got a little bit away from me, so I'm just going to snuggle them together. Okay, and so that's what you're gonna do to create your flower. You wanna do three more of these I'm going to set you loose to finish them. So the next thing, remember, you're going to chain four, then you'll do a triple crochet, chain three, slip stitch into the magic ring. And you're going to do that until you have five petals. So once you're done, you're going to have five petals that look like that. And so I've just slip stitched into the center and I just want to make sure that before I cinch off here, I'm just going to take my short tail. So just show you that. Whoops. I just undid my slip stitch. So I just want to slip stitch that last chain three into the center. And then I'm going to take that short tail from before and I'm going to cinch it shut so that my center will be cinched nice and tight. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just fasten off and pull through. There we go. So we can have a little bit of a closer look here. Okay, so again, I just need to cinch that center up tight. And what you might want to do, and again, it might not bother you. If you're going to use a button in here, this loosening up situation is not a big deal. But a lot of times what I like to do is I will take my end and just knot them together. And this will come in handy there we go. You can do a double knot if you want but I know that I'm also going to use these long ends to then sew my little eye flower to my palette or my eye socket which is the black. Okay, so you can see that on the back there. So that's what we're going to move on to next. So we've got our five petals here. Don't worry if this one's looking a little bit funny because when we sew this onto our eye socket, that will even out. Okay, so you will need to make two of these or four if you're going to do a face on the back of your bag as well. That's completely up to you. So at least two is good because you want to have two eyes. Um, now I'm going to move on to doing the eye socket in black. I am using black yarn and as we've noticed it's challenging to see on camera. But what I would recommend you do if you're still a little bit hazy is pause the video and go back to where we made the initial bottom of our bag because it's the exact same pattern that we're using to create our um, eye socket. Okay, so we are going to be using uh, 12 double crochet stitches in the center and then round two will end up having 24 stitches. Wow, that back looks like it's a real mess. Um, so you should have 24 stitches in total. I will actually put a time marker just up here at the top of the screen just to remind you of where you can go back on the video to see how we did our initial circle because the eye will be exactly the same. Once you've done yours in black 
or actually any color. I mean, nobody says you have to use black, but because I'm making my bag to look like a skull, I'm using black. So once you've done that circle, I'm going to meet back up with you guys here, and then we're going to talk about our little edging and then putting the whole eye together. Okay, so go ahead and do that, and I will see you shortly. Okay, so I've done my eye socket here, and you can see it's going to start sitting really nicely there. So what we want to do next is do the embellishment around the edge, and then all we have to do is sew these guys together. So I did indeed do the two rows, as I had discussed previously. So there's 12 double crochets in the center, and then we do two double crochets into each stitch for round two. So it's only two rounds, your eye socket, and you'll have 24 stitches at the end. So now I'm just going to bring back my yellow and we're just going to add this sweet little embellishment around the edges. So I'm going to start with a slip knot and you do your slip knot however you're most comfortable. Okay, and now we're just going to insert our hook. Hopefully the camera will cooperate. Anywhere into any, you can insert into any stitch. You don't have to start here. In fact, I like starting a little bit, a little bit before that so I can just work over that little bump there. So I'm just gonna insert into any stitch I can find. So remember, you'll see the tops of your Vs. You might not be able to see that in this particular situation because of the yarn color. Um, then we're going to just slip stitch to join. Okay, I'm going to chain one and then back into that same stitch. So I'm just pulling that apart there so you can see. I'm going to single crochet into that. Okay, so I have a single crochet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to go into the very next stitch. And remember, you might have to pull your work apart so you can see that. So there we go. My next stitch is right there. And you're just going to insert your hook and do a single crochet. And this is pretty much There we go, got it in there. And this is pretty much what we're gonna do all the way around, okay? So into each stitch, you'll do one single crochet. See that? And then we're gonna chain two, one, two, and then just go right into the next stitch. So that would be right here just on the other side of where we knotted there. And I'm gonna single crochet into that. Boy, this cotton yarn sometimes can give you a little run for your money here. Good news is we know it is strong. There we go. So you can see it's Sorry guys, there's a lot of glare with this black yarn. So you can see it's creating just these cute little little bumps and ridges there. So again, I'll do it, chain two, and I'm just gonna drop that tail there. Remember, I left a long tail here because we're gonna use this to sew it to our bag. So um, we don't actually wanna work over that one. So I'm just going to go into the very next stitch, which is right there, and I'm going to double, sorry, I'm going to single crochet. Oops. Okay. Chain two. And then just single crochet. And that's it. So you can see it's really kind of, and it's, it is, it should kind of 
buckle a little bit and bunch up like that is supposed to be the effect of it. So that is how here you can see it's just kind of bunching up into each other and it just gives it this pretty little effect. So go all the way around. When you get to the end, you're just going to slip stitch to join and fasten off. Okay. And for the yellow, you do not need to leave a long tail because we're going to use the black to sew the applique to the bag. For our petals, we need these long tails to sew our flower to the eye socket, if that makes sense. So I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's finish this little embellishment around the edge, and then I'll take you through sewing in each piece together. Okay, I'm just coming to the end here, and I wanted to show you guys, just in case there was any confusion, I did my last single crochet here. I am going to do another set of chain two, and I'm going to slip stitch that chain two to my very first single crochet. Whoops, so I'm just going to insert there and slip stitch. So that's how you're going to finish that off in case there was any confusion whatsoever, okay? So just snip my yarn. And then pull my yarn through and we are good to go. So now we can just weave in our ends and I'll probably I'm going to just feed it through, through the front here, just like this. There we go, just like that, okay? And now we're ready to sew in our flower. We're almost there. Okay, so before we sew in our flower, I just wanted to show you what I did here with my little button. Aren't these adorable? Um, the first thing I did is, because I chose to put the button, I want to sew the button onto the flower first. I will then sew the flower onto my eye socket. So they're all together. And then this will go as one piece. We will then sew these onto your bag, okay? So the only thing is now these, um, this button, for example, had pretty decent size holes. So you wanna make sure whatever um, buttons you use that you'll be able to get your thread through. Now, you can use regular thread, but if you notice what I did, I used the yarn from the flower here. And because it's a bit thicker, that's why I'm saying you might have some issues either getting it through your buttonhole or even, if I can find my darning needle, getting it not only through the darning needle, but then getting the needle through these holes. Um, unless you can get really crafty and make sure that somehow you can get these to fit into the hole all on their own. And we have a winner. Whoops. I just have to be careful that it doesn't thread. There we go. So I'm going to thread this up and through. and then back down the other way. And then I'm just gonna tie a knot in the back and we're good to go. And then we can use this to fasten it to the middle of our flower. Just like that, okay? And so now what I'm going to do is just tie a knot. And one is enough. And now I am ready to sew this into the center. See how cute that is? Okay, so I've got my darning needle. I've threaded in one end. And all I want to do is just find the 
middle portion or close enough to it of my flower. I'm going to insert it and pull it through until my center sticks. Now, because I went right in through the center, remember these. this button has two holes. It's going to wonk off to the side here. Wonk off. What a word. Um, so now what I want to do is I'm going to get the other end here. And I'm going to insert it also into the middle. But I am going to try to leave a little thread in between of some kind so that I can kind of knot it in the back, if that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, do not worry. Just insert it through that same hole. There we go. See? Yeah, that button definitely anchors the, uh, the whole look here. Okay, so now you've got both of these in the back. And I love to knot things because it makes me feel like they're much more secure. So these two have come out of the same opening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these guys here and I'm just going to knot it to this. And if this is totally confusing you, just do your own thing, whatever makes sense to you. So right now I've got all these short tails and ends here. So it's probably looking like a bit of a jumble, but there we go. That's the center-ish of our eye. And now what we're going to do is we are going to sew this to our eye socket portion. Okay. And um, I am going to start with my longest portion here. And the good thing is because the back is not going to be seen, you don't have to worry about hiding it. So you just want to roughly find the center. So because this one's coming out of the center, I'm actually going to center this right away by finding the center of my eye socket. So I can see it's right there. And I'm going to start off by inserting my yarn needle and pulling it right through. So that way I know the center of this has been anchored to the center of the eye socket. Love that. Okay, now from here on out, what you're going to do is you're just going to Put your needle in and out back and forth to secure down your petals. So for example, I am going to just insert anywhere so I can come up through the front and I want to make sure that I'm always catching a stitch and this is why I wanted to use the pink because it'll match perfectly and it won't be so obvious. And then I just find the next stitch here and I just start pushing it right through where I want it to sit against the black and I pull it through just like that. You want to make sure it's actually going through a stitch or a thread as opposed to the spaces, right? Because you want it to be um, anchored to something solid. So I'm just going to feel my way through here. So see that? It's definitely coming up through both threads and now I'm coming up through that thread there. So I know that it's anchored. And then I will just go on to the next one and push it through and make sure it's coming up through there. And I'm golden, just like that. So you can see now it's, it's sitting against the palette, we'll call it, nice and flat. That's pretty much it. You're going to just do that back and forth from front to back and back to front, making sure that you're always catching your work so it can be nice and secure. And I'm coming up around the side here. So basically you're always going to be working into these chains because remember the petals consisted of chains, triple crochet chains. So you don't really need to touch the triple crochet at all in the center. So do that all the way around until you've sewn down your flower completely to your liking. If there are any tails left, you can just sew them to the back and then we'll hide them when we um, sew in our applique completely. Or you can weave them in if you like. Uh, but you know me, I'll definitely be pushing them to the back and then knotting them together. 
And I know this black yarn has been a bit of a pain, but hopefully you've been able to see what we're going for here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eye here, and I'm gonna leave you to finish your eye or two or four, and then uh, we'll meet back up and we'll talk about making our nose and then our uh, sewing our stuff onto our bag, and then we'll leave the mouth to the end because we're just gonna sew the mouth directly onto our bag. It's gonna be so cute. Thank you.